Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bob Waldron and this is the 18th vlog here uh, at Genesis Models. Now it is pretty damn hot here in the UK so hopefully this fan is not sort of getting in the way of the whole mic and the sound stuff. But um, in this vlog we're going to have all sorts of news um, including what's going to be the next group build here at Genesis Models. So to start off with let's just jump straight in with the usual competition which if you remember um, last month at the beginning of last month we um, started a competition for who was going to win this Tornado GR4 148 scale by um, Ravel. Now in the picture you'll see that uh, we have a Harrier here and you have to guess whether this was real or not real. Was it a model or was it the real Harrier? And the answer was it was in fact a model, absolutely fantastic looking model. And after doing the usual random number generation program and counting down the thread as well as the, the YouTube um, comment section, I came to Ian Campbell. So congratulations to you, Ian Campbell. You are the winner. All you gotta do is throw me a PM with your mailing address and I'll ship this out to you free of charge. Which then brings us to um, this month's competition um, for July. Uh, now all you gotta do to be in it to win it is guess whether or not this picture is in fact real or not real. Is it a scale model or is it the real thing? And if you guess right and get picked, you will be able to win um, this fantastic new tool um, that's been done by Airfix. It is the 148 scale Junkers JU87B1 Stuka. Um, I have just done an inbox review of this, so go check this out on Jen Small's website under inbox reviews, um, and you can check out what's in here. Um, so all you gotta do, remember, is just post real or not real um, in the comment section um, down below here on YouTube, or you can also post on the Genesis Models Forum at this link down below, um, and you can just basically put your guess in there. And again, um, first vlog of next month, we will uh, do a number random generation program like we did um, with the tornado there, um, who won was um, Ian Campbell, so congratulations. So let's move along to a bit of news on what's going on um, here at Genesis Models. So what have I been working on? Well, we've got on the table right now, which I've been just working on, is our Spitfire, which is the 132nd scale um, Spitfire by Tamiya. And as you can see, it's looking absolutely stunning. Uh, we did quite a bit of work on the cockpit. You've seen a lot of that. And I've built this together. It's gone together like a glove, uh, but any sort of little discrepancies we've worked our way through. We have the engine section, um, which you haven't actually seen in the step-by-step -step video build yet. But um, as you can see, I mean, the detail is absolutely out of this world for what is an out of the box engine. I mean, this actually puts resin engines to shame. So it is um, just absolutely just stunning. Absolutely, you know, you just can't beat it. Um, sadly, I'm not actually gonna be painting mine. I'm just gonna cover mine up um, just to speed things through with, because um, it is a rapid video build we are doing of the Spitfire. Also, um, I have been working um, on, uh, for you war games out there, I have been working on some Primaris Marines. Um, hopefully as you can see here, I've been painting this up. I'm kind of thinking I like the glossy, the glossy armor with this. Um, I've been doing a bit of paint because I want to do a step-by-step -step on how to um, paint these in a tactical way. Um, and just out of interest, you know, I've also, um, built Gulliman, just primed him as well. Um, Robert Gulliman, I mean, wow, absolute stunning miniature, um, gotta say. It went together absolutely fantastic. The level of detail on this is is just, again, you know, out of this world. Absolutely fantastic work from Games Workshop. Um, I'm kind of thinking I might do this as like a bit of a pro painting video. Um, we shall see. Um, you know, that's just stuff I'm kind of working on for future videos. Um, also, just over here, we've got um, the Super Hornet FA18E. If you don't know, that has just started. Brand new step-by-step um, -step video build here at Genesis Models. Um, episode one has already gone up. Um, episode two will be up next week, and we'll be working through that. And we've got a bunch of resin and all that kind of cool stuff to go with it. Um, also, um, the I have just finished filming the um, UCM Cruiser. Um, which the final episode will be up next week. So you've got got that coming along also. 
And then we're going to announce what's going to be the next GB um, here at Jenny Smalls. Now, this GB is going to start on the 1st of August. So uh, the GB that's going on at the moment, it finishes on the 31st. And, and the day after, this new one's going to start. Now, you guys have been suggesting and voting um, for what you want to be the next GB to start on the 1st of August. And after sort of finally kind of counting up all the votes saying yes, came to post-apocalyptic. So the next group built here at Genesis Models is going to be post-apocalyptic. That was suggested by Brindle Donk. Now, um, what this one's all about, it's any scale, any models, pretty much do and build whatever you want, as long as it's got an apocalyptic theme to it so we're talking like the world's ended nuclear holocaust even good old-fashioned zombies you can build anything do anything as long as it has that theme uh, you know throw some zombies in there scratch build some mad max cars or or absolutely anything i mean you can really sort of go to town even aliens if you want to bring aliens into it as long as it's got that kind of a, a theme to it um that has been sort of like some posts um in this section it's just kind of uh, for example i'll just sort of show you here you know we've got some examples of some pictures um you know all sorts of like mad max style stuff you know whatever you want really um again that starts on the first of august so you've now got a nice bunch of time to actually get all your kits and all the gear you need to get ready to just start on that day um also with um the the group build that's going on at the moment it does end on the 31st but um, um it's been brought to my attention that um some people may need a little bit of extra time um i don't i've never really sort of allowed extra time but i mean if there's a lot of you who could do with a bit of extra time um I don't know let me know i mean do you think that's fair or not fair um let me know and i'll kind of go with whatever you guys sort of sort of want to do but generally what normally happens is we might have a load of people who haven't quite finished but all of a sudden the week before um the group build sort of comes to an end everyone seems to finish so um we'll just see just give me feedback and we'll, we'll see how that goes um next up is we've got a little bit of a charity that i want to give a shout out to the, the charity I want to sort of um, give a good shout out here is for Models for Heroes. Um, you can look them up on um, modelsforheroes.co.uk. And what this um, um, charity is all about, it's all about um, veterans um, that could be suffering from all sorts of like post-traumatic stress or anything like that. Um, the whole idea is to, to, to get these people who are having a hard time with um, stresses of being a veteran um, and by using models and and building models the whole idea is um, you know when you build a model and you sort of get in that zone and you forget about all your worries and you forget about all the problems and like the world itself and you're just totally focused on building a model and that's what models for heroes is all about is about kind of giving these veterans a bit of a break a, a way in which they can sort of um, get a release from from all, all the things they're going through. And, and what Models for Heroes um, wants you to do is not really send them money, but to actually send them kits. Because we've all got it. We've all got these big, massive shelves full of kits, you know, a big stash of kits. Um, and how many of them could you kind of go, I'm never gonna build that. Uh, I kind of liked it when I brought it, but now I'm probably never going to build it. Not got much interest in it. In it. Uh, and all you got to do is pack it up, ship it out, and post it to Models for Heroes. And then some veteran can build it and, and sort of get into the hobby and, and get that bit of a release from, from what they're going through. So hopefully you like this... Um, uh, um, charity that I'm sort of trying to sponsor and get get you going here. If you do happen to have you know a kit floating around and you want to just box it up and ship it out, you can ship it out to Models for Heroes, and that is at um, uh, One Harrier Road, Newbury, Berkshire, RG uh, two zero four AB, or you can find all that information on their website at modelsforheroes.co.uk. So hopefully you'll get in on that and get out um, some 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 kits for all our veterans that have come back from from all sorts of theatres um, um, that's been going on right now. So hopefully you've enjoyed this um, vlog here at Genesis Models. So get out there, get modeling and have fun. So until next time, my name is Bob Walder and this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed.